is the Writer's Almanac for Friday. It's the 26th of November, 2004. It was on this day in 1942 the movie Casablanca had its premiere at the Hollywood Theater in New York City. On the same day, President Franklin D. Roosevelt ordered mandatory gasoline rationing in the United States. It's the birthday of the creator of Peanuts, Charles Schultz, born in St. Paul, 1922, studied cartooning in a correspondence school and started a weekly strip called Little Folks. It started in 1947. United Features Syndicate picked it up and renamed it Peanuts, starring Charlie Brown, Snoopy, Linus, and of course, Lucy. It was on this day in 1832 the first streetcar began operation in New York City. Here's a poem for today by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, The Wreck of the Hesperus. It was the schooner Hesperus that sailed the wintry sea, and the skipper had taken his little daughter to bear him company. Blue were her eyes as the fairy flax, her cheeks like the dawn of day, and her bosom white as the hawthorn buds that ope in the month of May. The skipper he stood beside the helm, his pipe was in his mouth, and he watched how the veering flaw did blow the smoke now west, now south. Then up and spake an old sailor, had sailed to the Spanish main. I pray thee, put into yonder port, for I fear a hurricane. Last night the moon had a golden ring, and tonight no moon we see. The skipper he blew a whiff from his pipe, and a scornful laugh laughed he. Colder and louder blew the wind, a gale from the northeast. The snow fell hissing in the brine, and the billows frothed like yeast. Down came the storm and smote amain the vessel in its strength. She shuddered and paused like a frighted steed, then leaped her cable's length. Come hither, come hither, my little daughter, and do not tremble so, for I can weather the roughest gale that ever wind did blow. He wrapped her warm in his seaman's coat against the stinging blast. He cut a rope from a broken spar and bound her to the mast. Oh, Father, I hear the church bells ring, oh, say, what may it be? "'Tis a fog bell on a rock-bound coast, and he steered for the open sea. "'O oh, father, I hear the sound of guns, O oh, say, what may it be? "'Some ship in distress that cannot live in such an angry sea. "'O oh, father, I see a gleaming light, O oh, say, what may it be? "'But the father answered, never a word, a frozen corpse was he, "'lashed to the helm all stiff and stark, with his face turned to the skies. The lantern gleamed through the gleaming snow on his fixed and glassy eyes. And fast, through the midnight dark and drear, through the whistling sleet and snow, like a sheeted ghost, the vessel swept towards the reef of Norman's woe. And ever the fitful gusts between, a sound came from the land. It was the sound of the trampling surf on the rocks and the hard sea sand. The breakers were right beneath her bow as she drifted a dreary wreck, and a whooping billow swept the crew like icicles from her deck. At daybreak on the bleak sea beach, a fisherman stood aghast to see the form of a maiden fair lashed close to a drifting mast. The salt sea was frozen on her breast, the salt tears in her eyes and he saw her hair like the brown seaweed on the billows fall and rise. Such was the wreck of the Hesperus in the midnight and the snow. Christ save us all from a death like this on the reef of Norman's Woe. The Wreck of the Hesperus by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. That's the writer's almanac Brought to you by Powell's Books, the legendary independent bookseller, celebrating 10 years online, offering almost 2 million used, new, and out-of-print titles on the web at powells.com, written by Robert McGinley Myers. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.